Here you see all kinds of relays that I have gathered together to test them whether they are usable in a certain application. And that application is that I want to switch between this device, it's an inverter uh, that can be connected to solar panels and to the main supply 230 volts, 50 hertz. And on the other hand I have uh, my uh, battery circuit from 24 volts that is um, working via a inverter. This inverter. So between these two devices here, this one, power inverter, and this one, I want to switch. This uh, inverter uh, needs 90 volts at approximately 5 ampere to feed into the main supply 230 volts 50 hertz and this inverter um, gets its energy from a 24 volt battery and um, after that at the output you'll find 230 volts but uh, the aim from this video is what I want to do with the, all these relays. Um, I'm going to test them, especially on how they function when they have to switch approximately um, 90, 90 volts DC at 5 ampere. So I first studied all kinds of data sheets from all kinds of relays. And uh, I found that all the manufacturers are not very clear about how a relay acts at, uh, let's say, 120 volts DC when it has to switch 120 volts DC at 5 ampere or 10 ampere. There are special relays for DC, and as far as I could see and study, they have a sort of um, extra magnet connected and here there is for instance a sort of warning if switching voltage is greater than 30 volt DC special precautions must be taken please contact the factory and this is the Zettler re relay but um, it all led it to one conclusion that I had to do tests whether, um, this is by the way finer relays, whether um, small AC relays suitable for 10 ampere or, or 60, 16 ampere are usable to switch uh, 120 volts at 5 ampere. So that was all, but now I'm uh, going to show what I wanted to show and that's this uh, test circuit. I took the heaviest transformer that I have and on this moment I'm in the first stage of building such a test circuit. I want to test all these relays with a DC voltage from approximately 100 volts and study uh, the spark um, on the contacts, when the contacts make and when the contacts break. So this is a heavy transformer and this is my first setup. Uh, some uh, 50 watt lamps, a lot of them. And here you can see how all these lamps light up when this transformer, very heavy transformer, is switched on. It's a transformer from the 70s. I bought it a very, very long time ago and tested it. And uh, I think it's perfectly usable for this application. I'm going to rectify the AC with a bridge rectifier. And with this capacitor, I'm going to make uh, DC 
330 microfarad 385 volts so uh, I hope I will succeed and we'll be able to uh, test especially um, how I relay sparks on the contacts and how I can damp the spark when the relay uh, has to switch approximately 120 volts or 80 volts or 90 volts at 5 ampere. And uh, I found it a little bit tricky that none of the manufacturers are clear about this case. There are very few ones that say that when you want to switch a DC um, voltage with a high current you need a special relay. But um, when you study the data sheets all the relays that are able to uh, switch uh, fifth, uh, 10 or 15 ampere at AC are not able to switch um, 10 or 15 ampere DC. And when you study the data sheets you will even see that um, there is a dramatic drop in the ability to um, switch high currents at the DC. So that's what I'm going to study further. And when I have conclusions or other videos, I will show it. I will show it.